Welcome to the Novena for the Intercession of St. Joseph. On this seventh day, we honor St. Joseph as the patron of workers. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O St. Joseph, you devoted your time at Nazareth to the work of a carpenter. It was the will of God that you and your foster son should spend your days together in manual labor. What a beautiful example you set for the working classes. It was especially for the poor who composed the greater part of mankind that Jesus came upon earth. For in the synagogue of Nazareth, he read the words of Isaiah and referred them to himself. The fourth chapter of Luke, chapter 18, reads, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. It was God's will that you should be occupied with work common to poor people, that in this way Jesus himself might ennoble it by inheriting it from you, his foster father, and by freely embracing it. Thus our Lord teaches us that for the humbler class of workmen, he has in store his richest graces provided they live content in the place God's providence has assigned to them, and remain poor in spirit. As in the fifth chapter of Matthew, verse 3, he says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The kind of work to which you devoted your time in the workshop at Nazareth offered you many occasions in practicing humility. You were privileged to see each day the example of humility which Jesus practiced, a virtue most pleasing to him. He chose for his earthly surroundings not the courts of princess, not the halls of the learned, but a little workshop of Nazareth. Here you shared for so many years the humble and hidden toiling of the God-man. What a touching example for the worker today. While your hands were occupied with manual labor, your mind was turned to God in prayer. From the divine master who worked along with you, you learn to work in the presence of God in the spirit of prayer, for as he worked, he adored his Father and recommended the welfare of the world to him. Jesus also instructed you in the wonderful truths of grace and virtue, for you were in close contact with him who said of himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. As you were working at your trade, you were reminded of the greatness and majesty of God, who, as a most wise architect, formed this vast universe with wonderful skill and limitless power. The light of divine faith that filled your mind did not grow dim when you saw Jesus working as a carpenter. You firmly believed that the saintly youth working beside you was truly God's Son. O Saint Joseph, I thank God for your privilege of being able to work side by side with Jesus in the carpenter shop of Nazareth. As a token of your own gratitude to God, obtain for me the grace to respect the dignity of labor and ever be content with a position in life, however lowly, in which it may please divine providence to place me. Teach me to work for God and with God in the spirit of humility and prayer as you did so that I may offer my toil in union with the sacrifice of Jesus in the Mass as a reparation for my sins and gain rich merit for heaven. Let us continue today's Novena by praying the Novena Prayer. O Saint Joseph, I, your unworthy child, greets you. You are the faithly protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have a special confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, I place all my hope of salvation in you, for you are especially powerful with God and will never abandon your faithful servants. Therefore, I humbly invoke you and commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me to your intercession. I beg of you by your love for Jesus and Mary not to abandon me during life and to assist me at the hour of my death. O glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my father, and my model through life that I may merit to die as you did 
in the arms of Jesus and Mary. O loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you and implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. State your intentions here. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers in my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Amen. Let us conclude today's Novena Prayer by praying the Memorare. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you, despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so concludes today's Novena Prayer. Join again tomorrow for Day 8, and may God's peace be with you.